Okay, so what was one of the most important flags that you looked for upon meeting someone? If you're too close to your exes. What do you mean FDA approved? FDA approved? FDA, FDA approved? Thank y'all, y'all got me help from the FDA. So just when we thought that things couldn't get worse for Lori Harvey, they just did because somebody is now threatening to leak her naughty tape. Now this drama is beyond messy y'all because it looks like she's getting blackmailed. Also the pink sauce lady has now finally reacted after fans have called her out and threatened to sue her. Um, is she really going to recall all of her products? And is she really about to go broke? Listen, securing the bag just landed her in a whole lot of mess. Now when I said that Lori Harvey was gonna have a lot of drama in the next couple of weeks, I was really talking about her relationship with Michael B. Jordan and the fact that she was exposing him for trying to sneaky link with his ex when he and Lori were still dating. Okay, so what was one of the most important flags, red or green, that you looked for upon meeting someone? So if you had a red, what would it be? I would say if you're too close to your exes, mm. that's a red flag. Well, it looks like I was half right because she does have a lot of drama going on. But listen, I don't think that anybody could have predicted the drama that's currently going on because let me tell y'all, it's insane. So a couple of days ago, Gossip of the City, aka Fee, revealed that someone had contacted her saying that they had a naughty tape of Lori. The person also claimed to have tapes of Rihanna and Wendy Williams, but Fee tweeted, someone is shopping a naughty tape of Lori Harvey. I only said Lori because I actually saw it for myself. I didn't see the other two yet. I'll keep you updated and no, I won't be posting them. She also posted this screenshot of her conversation with the source and according to their conversation, the person sent over Lori's tape first. V also confirmed that it was really Lori in the video, but as she said, she isn't going to be posting the video. There are a few reasons why she wouldn't want to post the video. And the first reason is she wants to be a decent person and save Lori from the embarrassment of having the entire world see her nude and doing a deed on camera. Another reason that Fee probably doesn't want to post this is that she could get sued if she does. Also, her page could get taken down and from what I know, she has spent years building her page so she wouldn't want to go and lose it over this one issue. But a few hours after she made the first tweet, Fee also gave up a follow-up tweet revealing that the anonymous source had also sent over women Wendy's tape and once again she confirmed that it is indeed Wendy in the video. She said, they sending everything but Rihanna. I have Wendy and Lori though. I'm assuming this guy slept with all three of them. She also posted another screenshot where the person said, everything I say I have, I have. Now we don't know who the guy is because according to Fee, he is anonymous. This tells me that he was smart enough to either create a new account or at least use his burner account. And before anyone comes for me in the comments assuming that it's it's a man, V herself said this. She also claims to have her suspicions as to who it may be. She said, I know who's leaking these tapes. He hit me up from a page name that he uses often on his real Instagram. So this means that whoever this is, he wasn't all that smart because his burner can easily be tied to his main account. But the thing is, I don't think that Fee is going to expose him. Well, at least not yet. If she does, then people are gonna know exactly who it is and that he slept with Lori, Wendy, and Rihanna. Honestly, Honestly, I can say that I wouldn't be surprised if all three women slept with the same person because there's something that we've been saying for the longest time and I know that my baddies will remember. Hollywood is a super duper messed up place and it feels like at this point everybody is just recycling partners. Everybody's either sleeping with or has slept with or will sleep with everybody else at some point so I can't say that I'm shocked that Lori, Riri, and Wendy may allegedly have at least one partner in common. It also kind of makes me wonder exactly how old this video Video is. As we already know, Wendy is in her 50s and she hasn't exactly been in a great state of health for about a year and a half now, so I kind of find it hard to believe that she would want to film a naughty tape with all that's going on with her. So this just makes me believe that this alleged tape is at least a few years ago. But for some reason, there are a lot of people who are crazy interested in seeing the video of Lori. Someone said, I have downloaded 42 viruses trying to find that Lori Harvey tape. Please bless me with the link. And another person tweeted, 
Dr. Lori Harvey tape it. Now this person tried to be smart saying, some people are truly disgusting. How are you just going to leak a Lori Harvey tape? Well, somebody give me the link so I can mute it and never see it on my timeline. Yeah, right. You think you slick, but you're not. Anyways, I hate to say this, but I kind of have this mental image of Riri, Lori, and Wendy on the phone trying to figure out which bad partner or bad partners they have in common. And listen, that's not a pleasant thought. But I also feel bad for Lori because it's going to be bad for her already tarnished image because people been dragging her for being passed around in Hollywood. But just a few weeks ago, people were dragging her and calling her a H-O-E because she and Michael B. Jordan broke up. I really hope that that tape never gets leaked because she is going to be treated so badly online. But according to reports, Lori knows this and she is panicking trying to figure out who has the tape and how to stop them from releasing it. Another source revealed that she has turned to her parents for help and they are trying to help her navigate things and stop the tape from getting released. The source also claims that they believe that Gossip of the City isn't going to post the tape, but that Lori is terrified that whoever does have the tape is either going to leak it for a clout or is going to try to blackmail her. Well, let's just cross our fingers and hope that Lori gets through this one in one piece without public humiliation. But speaking of public humiliation, let's talk about this pink sauce lady and how she's about to get sued for everything that she owns. So if you don't know who the pink sauce lady is, then what the pink sauce is, well, allow me to bring you into the world of TikTok Marketplace and how people been selling any and everything on TikTok and how people really do be buying just anything on there. So the pink sauce lady is a chef named Chef P who started selling a dipping sauce that she called the pink sauce on TikTok. We don't know much about the sauce, but from what we know, it's sketchy as F. And no, this isn't me trying to be shady or anything like that. But according to her website, the sauce is made from dragon fruit, sunflower seed oil, honey, garlic, and chili. But the label on the bottle has some other ingredients, including milk. I'm not even going to go into the spelling of vinegar as vinger as she put it, because that's a whole nother thing on its own. But the thing is, she was shipping a sauce that has milk without refrigeration or at least dry ice. And y'all know that anything that contains milk has to be kept refrigerated if it doesn't contain a preservative milk because that goes very bad very fast. But from the ingredients list, there is no preservative listed. Also, can we talk about the fact that the sauce is never the same shade of pink? Some people have gotten bottles with light pink sauce, some with darker pink sauce, and some people had sauces that fell somewhere in between. And we really got to get into the fact that some of these bottles exploded before they got delivered to the buyers. The pink sauce is y'all waited this long for nothing this is no no ma'am we're not trying this look at this it stinks like i can't even respond to that i'm just gonna let that one fly right on me. i'm gonna let that one fly this just shows that the pink sauce lady doesn't even know how to properly package her own products for delivery. And to everybody who bought an unregulated and unapproved food item from TikTok, I'm looking at y'all. But I'm not blaming y'all because I know you probably bought into the hype, but I need you to know that I am side-eyeing you extra bad, so bad that my eye hurts. But anyway, let's talk about unregulated. Chef P went live on TikTok and when people asked if she had FDA approval for the sauce, this is what she had to say. What do you mean FDA approved? I don't sell medical products. The pink sauce is not a medical product. The pink sauce don't contribute to your health. I never said that. Oh my God. Now I had to take a deep breath after this cause how on earth is she gonna be out here selling food products and not know what the FDA is? The F in FDA literally stands for food. And I'm not going to even get into the fact that she said that it doesn't contribute to the health cause that's just gonna end up stressing me out some more. But as you guys can expect, she got dragged online for not knowing what the FDA is. So a few days later, she revealed that she had gotten a home visit by the FDA. Thank y'all, y'all got me help from the FDA. I love, I love hate because God blesses his children who have pure heart. She then claimed that FDA was going to approve her in a few days. And if y'all know anything about the FDA working, then you probably going to know that things don't work that way with them. And any other government agency for that matter, it takes months to get an approval, not just a couple of days. But yeah, there is a lot of controversy surrounding the sauce. Y'all know that I love when my black queens get the bag, but this is not the way to go. Especially since so many people are about to sue her. And if they do, well, 
let's just say that she's about to be a broke broke. Someone on Reddit posted about how his daughter had gotten sick after eating the pink sauce and there are so many people online wondering why she isn't getting sued yet. For example, someone said, that pink sauce lady is about to get sued because why are you sending people a dairy based sauce in regular packaging without colder ice packs? This other person is thinking about setting her up and said, I have considered buying this sauce so many times solely so I can get it on the ground floor of this inevitable lawsuit. They're not the only one thinking this cause someone replied and said, my partner is a lawyer and I've been debating. <laughs> we have a wedding to pay for. So it looks like she is sitting on a ticking time bomb, but luckily for her, it looks like she's trying to do better. She made this post on her Instagram page saying, thank you for your loyalty and patience as we bring pink sauce to life. Please rest assured that our pink sauce is safe and abiding by all food safety standards and guidelines. Furthermore, we are dedicated to providing tour customers with clear, unambiguous, and accurate labels and descriptors of the pink sauce and that its ingredients meet and exceed FDA guidelines. So it looks like she's listening and genuinely trying to do better, but is this time bomb going to go off before she is able to fix things? We'll have to wait and see about that. In the meantime, y'all need to check out this other video because trust me, it's crazier than this one.